photos added into your blog post can make a huge difference in whether a consumer will stay there and read the entire post or just breeze through the first few sentences and leave. So we want to make sure that we're putting in photos that are going to be eye-catching. And there are different ways that you can go about doing this. One, obviously, you can go ahead and have your camera with you and take the photos yourself wherever you're at. Or if you don't have a photo yourself that you've taken, you need to get one. And so a lot of times when I start working with a client, I ask them where they get their photos, and a lot of them say, oh, I just went to Google Images, found one, and put it into my post. Well, there's a small problem with that. Those photos are licensed and copyrighted to someone. And if you start using that photo without the permission of that person, you can end up getting yourself into some big trouble and end up in a pretty large lawsuit. Um, so we want to make sure that we're getting photos that are able to be used um, with permission and so you can either do it two ways. Either go to a site like iStock Photo um, or there's a ton of other ones out there and you purchase the photo. And it might be you know two to three dollars per picture you purchase. Or the other option if you want to find something and you're, you're on a budget for your blog you might go over to Flickr. Flickr has a free Creative Commons section where people have placed their photos under the agreement that you can use my photo with the permission as long as you give me a link back saying that I am the person who took the photo. So let me show you how you go about getting those today. So first you're going to go ahead and you're going to visit Flickr.com. And up here in the top right you'll see there's a search bar. Don't just type in your term there and find whatever it is because that's going to pull everything. Photos that people have agreed to be used and those that they have not. So you need to go in and do an advanced search. So to do this, you simply click on the word search and then click on this advanced search button right here and it pulls up a more in-depth search. So today I'm looking for a photo for an old blog post that Jason wrote about technology. So I'm going to type in here the word technology just to see what it brings back. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page and there's a section about Creative Commons. And you want to make sure that you're searching for photos that are only Creative Commons licensed. And we want to make sure that the photos we find are content to be used commercially and that can be modified and adapt or built upon. And the reason that you need that is maybe I'm going to crop the photo or maybe I'm going to add some text over it or I'm going to pull a part of the photo out and add it superimposed to another one so I want to make sure that those photos are able to be modified even if it's just resizing you're technically modifying the original work so I've got those three boxes checked I'm going to then hit the search button and it pulls back a bunch of different photos and the one that I really like is this one right here about technology and the way they spelled it is just classic. So we're going to use this photo in our blog post today. And so Flickr recently changed the way that you could get the, the link to the photo. It used to be you could just click on it and right click and you'd have it. But now what you have to do is go here to the actions button, drops down a, a drop down button, and then you hit view all sizes. And it's going to show you all the different versions of this photo that are available. So you've got it right now an original 517 by 447, medium, small, thumbnail, and a square. I like it as the original. I'll probably do a little bit of resizing in the post itself. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to copy the image location, and that pulls the URL address. And then we go over here to our blog. And we're blogging right now inside WordPress, but the same holds true for if you're doing it on Blogger or on a network that has a blog in um, something like maybe Active Rain or Trulia or some of those real estate ones or, or wherever you're at. They're all going to have the ability to add a photo via URL. So I'm going to click my image button, and then I'm going to put from URL, and I'm just going to paste that link that we have. And you'll see I get the little green check mark saying I'm good. Now make sure you put the title in of your photo. Remember, we talked about that before, the importance of titling and labeling our photos. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, there'll be a link inside the post. Read that article. It's going to really help you with the search engine optimization of your site. So we're going to then uh, title this photo Technology. And we're just going to leave it with that for now. And uh, we're going to have it align on the right and then we're going to hit insert into the post and so I dropped it here at the bottom of my post 
way down here. I don't want it there, so we're going to drag it up. So let's just grab it, and we'll pull it up here. Now, it's a little big for the size of my, fo of my blog post, so you can simply just resize your photo to whatever you want it to be. And uh, I don't like it when the text touches my photo, so I'm going to fix that quickly as well. And so my photo is now done. Uh, we'll move it up a little bit more just to make it look a little better. And you're not done, though. You've got the photo in, and a lot of people stop here. Here's the part with Creative Commons. We agree with Creative Commons that we're going to place a link back to the original photographer of this picture. So we need to go back to our photo, which is right here, and grab this link at the top, and then come back in and put that at the bottom. So we can place it right here, and we would just put photo credit by, and the guy's name was Sammy0716. And then we're just going to turn this into a link. And that's the photo credit link. Uh, we want it to open up in a new window because we don't want our people that are reading our blog post to disappear from us. And we're done. We would then come back here, update the blog post, and we can now see our photos added. And as you scroll down, you'll see here the photo credits right here. When somebody clicks on that, it's going to direct them straight to the photo. So that's a real easy and great way to find photos, get them for your blog post, and get them for free without having to run into legal issues. Make sure you put the links in, and make sure you're finding just those Creative Commons photos, and have fun with it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I'll see what I can do to help you.